Hi guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming... That's a little loud. Hey guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming a video all about how you guys can upcycle cardigans that you guys find at the thrift store. One of you guys actually requested this video, so thank you so much to the subscriber who did. I think that this is such a great idea, especially because cardigans are like all over Urban Outfitters, Brandy Melville, Aritzia, Revolve, basically everywhere that I love to shop. And you guys can get a similar look for the fraction of the price if you decide to thrift them. So I went to the thrift store, picked up four cardigans, and we are going to upcycle them all into different ways. This will require some sewing because... I'm a sewer. I just think your clothes last a lot longer that way. So I want to go through um, the cardigans that I'm going to be changing up and how much I got them for. And then we're going to get into the DIY, which is going to be very casual because guys, like, you know me, I haven't even, I'm filming this intro and I haven't started the DIY yet. So <laughs> yeah, we're like, we literally don't know what's going to happen. Cardigans. First one I got here is so precious, guys. It is this little floral cardigan and honestly I think it's cute just the way it is it was $4.99 and allegedly in a size large but maybe this is a children's large because I find this quite mini the next one I have here is in this like lime green color which I have just been seeing all over Instagram so I just think it's like a really fun one this one was $7.49 so a little bit expensive but it's originally from Liz Claiborne and it has these blue um, sleeve details as well as the trim at the bottom and my plan is to just cut that all off maybe I'll cut the trim off of this too I don't know but like I just thought this was a really fun color to work with and then the next one I have here this one's so cute too guys with the little flower edge this was $3.99 and in a size medium but this is also quite small and I think that this would be such a cute little tie top so that's probably what we're going to do with it and then the last one I know for sure what I'm going to be doing with this one this is a Talbot sweater in a size small. It was $4.99. This is cashmere. I don't know if I should really be cutting this up and sewing it, but someone donated it for $0. So if I pick it up for five, I feel like I can do what I want with it. It's this beautiful powder blue color. It looks a little purple on camera, but it's a lot more blue in person. But I bought some hardware from Amazon. Basically I bought these like tortoise shell looking belt buckle details and my plan is to belt the sweater and make like a really cute little belt and like cinch in the waist of this that is the haul kind of and I spent 20 something dollars on four cardigans which I think is really really affordable especially at a Toronto thrift store these days they're super expensive so I'm glad that I was able to score on those so let's just get into it and let's hope this works out Okay, so we're gonna start with the first DIY, and I'm really proud of myself, pat on the back, that I actually did a whole draw up of each cardigan and what I'm planning to do with it, so that way I don't get off course. So we're gonna do the blue cardigan. The blue cardigan here, I actually got some belt hardware from Amazon. I'll link these for you. And I noticed on Revolve there was a lot of belted cardigans, so I thought that would be a fun little addition to the blue one. I'm not changing the exact fit of this per se, but I think it's gonna be a super easy one that we're able to accomplish. So here is my plan. I'm basically gonna take one of these belt things and like I'll throw up a picture of the Revolve one. Um, we're gonna take a strip of the bottom of the cardigan. So we're gonna cut off about just like up to just one little uh, buttonhole. So we're gonna start cutting there. Okay guys, so we have our slightly cropped cardigan and I'm just gonna pin I'm gonna do a double folded stitch like this so that way it doesn't become unraveled. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pin, we're gonna fold once, about half an inch, and then fold again. And that's the way we are going to sew. Okay, so I pinned all of it down. And now we sew. I actually ordered this thread off of Amazon and I don't know if it's gonna be good or not, but the main reason why I got it is because they have every single color of the rainbow and I don't really need a like besides white and black I don't really need like a ton of these other colors so I think this is like the perfect pack but I'm going to try to find a color that matches to this 
really well. That's the hope at least. Guys, I did it! Look at it. It's so cute already. Like the great thing about this is that you could easily wear it just slightly cropped. And I think that looks really, really sweet. But we're gonna move on to the belt. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see this all together. Um, which is basically this extra strip of fabric. Um, what I'm gonna do is, first thing, I'm gonna cut off this little button. And we are basically just going to be doing the exact same thing to this, having it become one solid strap. Guys, this is turning out so well. Um, I created this strip and one thing I did when I cut off, there's a little buttonhole on one side and we're gonna wanna conceal that. Yay! And we're just gonna go into the reveal. Let's go. Okay, now we're moving on to the pink cardigan, which is this super cute one that has a little floral detail on it. And I think that this is gonna make a super bomb cropped little cardi. And we're basically just going to make it super short. It's gonna be kind of like this one from Aritzia that I really, really like. And I think it's gonna look super cute with a short skirt like this as well. Guys, I just realized that this is from Sears back in the day and it's a girl's size six like age 16 so that's why it's a large so my suspicions were right okay one little minuscule detail that i really liked about that blue cardigan i just showed you i'll put it up on the screen is that it kind of cinches in right under the bust so what i'm gonna do it's gonna be really simple is i'm gonna sew this part that we just ooh, i just dropped a pin i'm gonna sew this back onto this so what we're going to do is face both good sides together no 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 sorry we have to fill it with a what am i doing yes like this no okay yes so like this we're gonna sew the two good sides together but the bottom parts will be upside down because that way when we flip it it's gonna be right side up i finished sewing that so as you see on the other side, you're left with this really nice clean edge and we should have a full on crop top. This turned out so stinking cute. It's now like totally updated and something that you could find at like Urban Outfitters or something like that. I love adding this extra edge to it because when you wear it, people are gonna have no idea that you DIY'd it from the thrift store. It literally looks like something you could see on Urban Outfitters. So let's just see what this looks like. Next cardigan thrift flip is gonna be with the black one that I showed. It is this really pretty black cardigan with this flower detailing. And because the flowers cascade here, I thought it'd be really fun to kind of make it a top that kind of opens so you see a little bit of your midriff. So the plan is to keep the first two or three buttons and then we are just going to snip off the rest of the buttons. We're going to sew this edge closed. We just took off all the buttons on this side. From this side, you'll see the three buttons and then the opening will just become slightly more open. And then on the other side, it's going to be the exact same thing. So we just finished sewing and I think this is gonna be super cute. Like right now it looks closed, but I believe when we put it on, this part is gonna split open, but let's just see what it looks like on. I saved the best for last. It is the lime green cardigan. Yeah, there's a lot that has to be done with this. So the first thing I wanna do is make the sleeves short. And then the second thing I wanna do is cut off all the buttons and the buttonholes because we are going to be doing something spectacular with this. What I wanna do is because it's a little, because it's like a little bit looser, 
I want to essentially make it into one of those really cute tie tops that I've been seeing everywhere like from Aritzia but I think because of these sleeves which in my opinion are kind of unfortunate we're going to make it like a short sleeve version and we are going to use the extra fabric from this and make little ties to tie it at the top. Okay, let's go. So here's my super scientific drawing. I basically want to make it like a little tie front cardigan. Pretty much do what we did for the other, the black cardigan where I take out um, some of the, all the buttons and sew along this, the edges so that way it's more open, except we're gonna make that opening the top part because that's the part that you want like that deep V like prettiness and then the ties are just gonna go on the bottom. This lime green cardigan came with also this beautiful edge piece that's, yeah, not great. So we're gonna cut that off too and we're gonna basically just crop this entire thing. Let's just get to pinning. I think my priority first is just to get the neckline right. Okay, so we sewed this as I wanted to, where basically it starts Toledo, get away from my project. So we sewed it and now we are just gonna do some cutting at the bottom um, because like I said, I want to cut this all off and we're just gonna hem the bottom now. And we are also gonna cut off the sleeves so that way they are a t-shirt sleeve instead of this weird long sleeve. You're gonna wanna make sure you leave enough room for seam allowance and stuff like that. So I'm gonna cut the sleeve a little bit longer than I wish it to be. So I cut parallel to the cuff. We're starting to get our shape. It's getting really cute. He made me an iced coffee because iced coffees are very necessary for any DIY. Mm -hmm. So we have the base done. And what I realized is that I was better off just stretching my fabric into like these two little knitted strings because I figured if I were to sew them and make like a whole lace like I have done in the past, they wouldn't be this really pretty like little tie. It would just be really bulky. So I think that this is actually a lot better. Um, so basically what you do is you take a strip and then the more you pull, you just pull really taut, it becomes like a neat little string that kind of curls in on itself and I think that's gonna look a lot better. So let's look at it now. Okay, so as you guys can see, um, I'm gonna tie it together here. So I'm gonna cut this string in half, but we're basically just going to pin them down. In hindsight, if I did the hem before I did this, I could have integrated it into it. There's no real rhyme or reason of, to where I'm putting them. What's just as important is that they're close enough that I'm able to actually tie them together. And then we'll be done! Ah, I'm so excited! We are officially done this little top. I'm just gonna cut off some of the loose threads, but let's just try it on and see what it looks like! Okay guys, that is the end of my latest cardigan DIY. Let me know which one was your favorite and if there's anything you guys want me to thrift flip or DIY next, please let me know in the comments section below. Also, I'm heading to Florida really soon and it may, I may be there while you guys are watching this. So definitely follow along my travels on my Instagram because I'm going to be hopefully taking at least one of these. Okay guys, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye everyone.